Today's adventure brings me to this Elks Lodge, number 1478, here in Lancaster, New York. Very much looking forward to trying out their fish fry here is really outstanding. How does it measure up to the other fish fries that I've been at? We'll have to wait and find out. Join me as we go on this next fish fry adventure. So you see, you can drive up to the awning and they'll take your order for you. I was here a little bit earlier. There were no cars here. I was able to go right in very quickly, get my fish fry. Special shout out here to some of my subscribers. Hello to Elias, Robert, and Sam. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you have liked this fish fry? Look at this dinner. This fish is just falling apart. Flaky, look at that. Amazing. You've got coleslaw. You've got macaroni salad, of course, my favorite. That's the macaroni salad I'm looking for. These golden, crispy french fries, rye bread. There's some tartar sauce, butter. Wow. I am really, really excited. All right, so I'm all set up now. I'm ready to eat. First things first, sanitize. Hand sanitizer. Again, no silverware, napkin, things like that, but I was prepared as always, and I brought my own right here. So we are ready to go. I'm just in the parking lot here at the Elks Club. Super excited to eat this. I'm just gonna dive in because it's hot. I mean, I mean, it's just looks incredible. So let's go ahead. Just look at this fish. It's flaky, it's falling apart, it's hot, it's steamy, it's golden, it's, I mean, this, I think, is going to give Sheridan Park a run for its money here right now. This fish, I, I'm probably going to burn my mouth when I eat this piece. It's just so hot, but let's go ahead and try it because I'm really hungry, and this looks really, really good. Here we go. Let's try number two. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You saw how big the fish was. That beer batter flavor is really coming through. It's light, it's scaly, in the sense that you can sort of peel through it and kind of make those little slivers of it. Oh my gosh, look at this fish. Just It's just coming right out of, of the breading here. It's not falling out of the breading. I want to make that point clear. It's not like the breading isn't sticking. It's that it's cooked so well. It's not you know, overcooked or burned onto it. It's not greasy. It, it's not... Uh, uh, so hard like it's a piece of concrete uh, you know it, I'm gonna use my hands here for a second you saw me sanitize but you can see it's just falling it's so hot it's so so tender let's try this again mmm mmm I mean this is del this is absolutely delicious it doesn't even need the tartar sauce but of course we're going to try the tartar sauce let's get the tens tartar sauce got the tartar sauce on there now let's give this one a try That's really good tartar sauce. The fish is really good. Of course, it doesn't need it, but it adds to it. Okay. Let me just get my napkin here. All right, I gotta try the other sides here before I just eat all this fish. Let's go ahead here and try the french fries. They're crispy, they're golden. Let's try a second one. Yeah, they are cooked all the way through. They are crispy. They are delicious. This is incredible. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try the coleslaw now. See what we got going on here. I think it's gonna be good. Looks creamy. It's still cool. Let's taste it. It's really tasty. It's uh, creamy, crunchy. A nice little pepper flavor to it. Gives it a little bit of a kick. It's really tasty. I'm not sure if they make it themselves or if it's from a bag, uh, but it's, it's really, really good. It's not as vinegary as the other ones that we've had so far, and it's definitely not as finely chopped, and it has all of the different colors. And you got the cabbage, the carrots, and, and whatnot. So give it another taste here. Oh, that is uh, really, really tasty. Try the macaroni salad now. There's our macaroni salad. This is what I've been waiting for. This is my favorite fish fry side. The macaroni salad with your vegetables in there, like a pepper or carrot, 
and the mayo base. If Roto hadn't give this a try, I think this is going to be really outstanding, but I don't want to prejudge it completely. Let's go ahead and try. And fight number two. That is outstanding. That is cool, creamy, delicious. You can taste all the different flavors in there. You have a dill sort of flavor, perhaps maybe there's pickle in there. Well, there's definitely some, looks like some sort of celery, something that's giving it a crunch in addition to the carrots. And definitely those light peppers in there looks like perhaps, or maybe those are just the carrots. But whatever, this is really, really good. I'm even taking another bite right now, see? So again, I don't know if they make this themselves. I don't know if they have it brought in from another company to buy it at the store somewhere. I don't know, but it's really outstanding. So we've tried the fish, we've tried the tulsa, we've tried the fries, we've tried the macaroni salad. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. I think they're gonna be in contention here, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my dinner, let you know what I think. Be back in a second. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned yet was the rye bread. As you can see, I took a bite out of it. It is the best rye bread I can think of. So I don't know if it's uh, locally made or if it's from somewhere else, I don't know. But this is just perfect, it's a nice big size. It's tasty, you got all of the right seeding on it. It's just, mm. it's soft, flavorful. And again, the rye bread really sets this whole meal perfectly now. So you have all of these great salads, you have the fried food, and then this rye bread is sort of Seals it all up nicely, it adds that nice flavor. It's it's not bland like if you just have a piece of uh, white bread or a roll. The rye bread just adds another element which just elevates it this much higher. Now, there's no free rolls this week, there's no anything bonus like that, but this meal has been outstanding and I'm almost done. And then I'll get back to you and let you know my final thoughts. All right, so I finished my meal. The sun is setting as you can see and shining through my car windows making my face a nice golden color, just like that golden piece of fish that I just had. So what were my thoughts? Oh my gosh, guys, I am totally surprised. Now I found this fish fry from my friend Andy, who has his own Polish American radio show where he plays music uh, on the radios on the weekend. So take a listen to that. I'll put the link down below here so you can look at Andy's amazing radio show that he has. So definitely give it a listen. And the place I'm at today is one of the sponsors, I believe, of his show. And I saw on his Facebook posting to go try this place out. So I definitely drove over here today and I'm so glad that I did. So Andy, thank you for plugging this amazing fish fry because they're going to have a really high score. The fish was really outstanding. It was tender, flaky, juicy. It was not dry. Just the batter was crisp and tasty. That beer flavor really came through. Uh, you, you know, you saw as I was picking it up, it was falling apart. I mean, you could cut right through it with your fork. I mean, it was excellent. This this is on par with the restaurant level fish fries. When I go to places like Hoax or something like that, or Curry's, you know, did a really great piece of fish, and it's just, you know, hot, and it's falling apart with your fork. You can separate it easily. That's what this fish was. Then you add in the sides. French fries. Hot, crispy, super delicious. A friend of mine on my way out of work today said, I hope your fries are crispy. Jim, they are they are crispy. I hope you're happy. Hope you're watching. Thanks for the vote of confidence there for the crispy fries, because I got them. So thank you for that. Now we have the salads. We have the coleslaw. We have the macaroni salad, just really outstanding. There's a good pepper flavor to the coleslaw. And of course, the macaroni salad, my favorite of all of the fish fry sides. I don't know if there was relish in it or something, but I definitely got a dill flavor to it. I did find some peppers in there. I saw some yellow peppers, some red peppers. It was just really delicious. And then, of course, you add in the rye bread and the butter with it. Just really, really perfect. This meal was exactly that. Perfect. Now, you eat inside, it looked like in the bar area. Wasn't too sure about all the details about that. So I decided to come on here, especially with them filming the video here. I'm sure there was very limited seating. It's easier to eat outside here in my car. So I would like to come back when I can eat inside. They had tables set up where you could eat perhaps maybe in a normal year and they had pitchers of drinks. And the cost here was $12, the exact same price as it was at Sheridan Park. And here we got the fish. So like you got there, you got French fries, like you got there. You got cold sauce, like you got there. You got bread, like you got there. But we had macaroni salad instead of potato salad. So 
it comes down to now personal preference. Do you prefer the macaroni salad or the potato salad? Don't get me wrong. Both salads are excellent. They're really, really good. However, I'm a macaroni salad guy. So this was really outstanding. And the fish. This fish was better than Sheridan Park's fish. I like Sheridan Park's fish, but I think their fish fry comes off much better when you eat inside the restaurant, the fire hall, if you will. Not if you will, it is a fire hall. Here, this is a perfect takeout meal. Now, this wouldn't have traveled well when I went home. Now, I'm a decent mile, a decent amount away from my home, maybe about 20 or 25 minutes away from my home, but this is perfect for in your car. I'm gonna rate it overall. Well, I said it's better than Sheridan Park. So therefore, I'm gonna give it a 9.9. .9. Yes, a 9.9, .9, nearly perfect. What could have been better? There was no ketchup with the french fries. Now, I had some with me, so I was able to use that. Not really a major issue. And again, I'm not really sure why these takeout places aren't providing silverware and napkins and things like that. But minor nitpicking here, and there's no dessert or anything like that. Now, maybe in a normal year, you get dessert with it. I don't know, but again, minor. 9.9. .9. It's in the lead. I did not think when I came here today that I was going to have the best fish fry I've had in probably the last seven or eight meals. I thought it would be good and it would be a contender for things, but I didn't think it was going to be one that I would want to come back to many times. So if you live in the Lancaster area or if you want to take a little journey one week, definitely recommend this Elk's Lodge by far as one of the top fish fries in all of Buffalo. So that's going to do it for me today. Hope you really liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It really lets me know that you care. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that so you stay in the loop for all of our fish fry adventures. I hate for you to not catch on and, and be left dangling here. I definitely want to hook you in. A lot of fish puns here today. Fishing puns, if you will. I'll see you next time. Stay hungry, and I'll see you on the fish fry trail.